Welcome once again. This is All Access. This week coming to you from the softball and baseball hitting complex on the campus of Winona State University. And joining us is head coach of Warrior Baseball, Kyle Polk. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Great to have you on the show. Um, a couple of preseason rankings f for your team have been put out uh, fourth in the NSIC coaches preseason poll as well as 10th um, in the Midwest Regional um, released by Ping Baseball. Talk about some of the uh, outstanding student athletes you have coming back from last year's team. Yeah, we have, uh, well, we didn't lose a whole lot from last year's team. We one senior pitcher that had pitched 10 innings, and then we lost a shortstop and a catcher. Uh, so we have basically our whole lineup is back. Uh, we have a couple of young kids. Jared Anderson is an all-conference third baseman is back, and he'll start at third there. And uh, we have Joe Clay in the outfield, Tony Mueller, who's got a potential to be one of the all-time best here at Winona State, I think, overall, because he'll pitch and play center field for us and bat leadoff. And then... Uh, We've got Ronnie Olson at second base, a four-year starter. Uh, Johnny McGee in the outfield or DH, in. and uh, Ross Hellenbrand is going to be at first base with battling with Adam Gamendon, a sophomore who played very well at the end of last year. <clears throat> and we did lose a senior catcher who decided to graduate in December, but uh, Jamie Soik, who was actually our number one catcher last year anyway, but ended up getting hurt and had a medical red shirt, so he's back with uh, any gain that full year's eligibility back. So we have a pretty solid lineup I think going and we have some guys that are going to play some key backup roles as well. Outstanding and um, you know talk about some of the the young pieces of that puzzle maybe uh, some faces that Warrior fans aren't quite aware of yet. Well we have a couple of guys that didn't play a lot last year they'll get some chance I think uh, we talk about Nate Van Rokel who was a backup infielder and we have uh, another young man named uh, Keith Danker will be back up at third base and first base. We also have uh, Hans Hegerness is probably, uh, he's been with us for three years as a backup, and uh, he's going to get the first shot at shortstop to fill in for Ben Smothers or that. Uh, so those are guys who've been in the program to have a shot at some position, but we also have three young men that we brought in as freshmen that are going to compete. Brett Young, a catcher from Appleton, Wisconsin. Uh, we have Seth McMullen, a shortstop from Wausau, Wisconsin, and then Cody Strang, an outfielder from Solon, Iowa. And they'll, they'll compete at those spots, and we'll see how, what, how it shakes out. Outstanding. And, you know, for, for fans out there, when does the, the season begin for you? Well, we start February 19th. We're down at Central Missouri for a game, four-game series. We play St. Cloud twice, which is good because we don't play them in the league. Uh, and then uh, we play Central Missouri twice. And Central Missouri in the last 15 years has been one of the top premier Division II programs in the country. We go down there every year and play them. We follow that up with a weekend in the Dome against Wayne State, Nebraska, who, again, is a conference full, but we don't play them in our conference schedule this year. And then after that, we're down to Florida, and we're – Getting a full swing down here. We have Lynn University, the defending Division II champ, a two-game set with them. And then we're playing Mankato in Florida, again, a, a, a conference opponent that we don't play during the regular season. And then Florida Southern, who's ranked number two in the preseason poll. And then we finish up with uh, three other, four more games down in Florida. And then we come home March 27th as our home opener against Minnesota Crookston. Great early season uh, action for you, and, and you heard it from, from the coach. You can catch him here at home against Minnesota Crookston first. This has been Warrior All Access with head coach Kyle Polk.